Okay, I finished the trip. We did it. We hiked Tour du Mont Blanc. Holy cow. Um, we did a lot. I feel like we did a lot of research on, on this hike. And you, know, you, you, you Google all the stuff and you go on YouTube and you watch people's videos and you always see them like in these spots happy. And they're like, oh, it's so beautiful and epic. And it is. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, what they don't show you is the struggle to get there. That's um, <laughs> no joke. You work for every mile on that trek, but it's worth it. Um, that said, I told you I would do a review on the Kuru Chicane Wide Men's Shoe. This is the shoe after a hundred miles, yeah. Um, the trek is 104 miles. We cut out one part due to weather, so it put us at like 93, 94 miles. Um, but that's the actual trail. Of course, we did walking around in the towns we were in and before. You know, so there's, there's well over 100 miles on these shoes right here as this is in my hands. Um, minimal wear, absolutely minimal wear. Um, when I bought them, they fit perfect. They were comfortable right away out of the box. Uh, it's like your foot clicked into them. They're just perfect fit. There's padding everywhere in all the right spots. Um, comes, you know, an insert that you can remove. You can see it's got all the, all the good curves and stuff that you want. I mean, it's kind of flimsy, but um, there's still a lot of support inside the shoe too. Um, a lot for your heel and a lot for your arch. So overall review on this shoe after a hundred miles. And this is gravel, you know, it's a lot of up, a lot of down. So, you know, you're either putting a lot of pressure in the back of the shoe, a lot of side hill, so a lot of side of the shoe, either way, a lot of downhill. So you're, you're constantly putting pressure all around this shoe. Amazing, amazing. Uh, a lot of people kind of looked at me like, oh, that's, that's not a hiking shoe. You know, everybody had their Salomons and uh, just everything else, everything else. This doesn't look like your typical trekking hiking shoe. However, um, I was the only one who didn't get blisters um, toenails all jammed up, all kinds of funky stuff. I did wind up with one black toenail, but that kind of always happens on a big trek for me. So really minor. Um, the heels, you know, there's no rubbing. I didn't get any blisters on my heels. One of the girls that went with us had some of the, the worst blisters I've ever seen on somebody and she kept going power to her. Um, no pain. It didn't. It didn't hurt to put them on every morning. You know, we did. We did 93 miles in 11 days. So we go, go, go. These were on a lot. Um, comfort 10. Um, grip, good grip. It, it was fantastic. Reliability, durability. There's, there's no loose threads. There's no sole coming apart. Um, the way it laces up, it laces up kind of on the, the side. That's really comfortable because you don't have that pinch. You know, like when you pull your laces tight, it pinches in the top of your foot. This doesn't have that. It, it really is a very, very comfortable shoe. Excellent for walking. They've now turned into my everyday shoes. Uh, I, I love them. The only downfall that I found with these, which was kind of crucial, um, I, I could have prepared a little bit better myself before this hike and scotch guarded these. Uh, I do believe they say they are water resistant or waterproof. Either way, <laughs> not really. And it's, it's a thick leather. So when they get wet, they stay wet. And so on the trail on the Tour de Mont Blanc, it's through the Alps, you go from France 
uh, to Switzerland, to Italy, back into France. And so you're doing, you know, high passes, valleys, high passes, valleys, and we crossed a lot of snow. So, of course, we brought crampons. And, of course, when your foot's in there, it's a little bit more straight. Micro spikes. Um, and it's just a, a, a rubber that, that holds it on. So, for the snow crossings, we put these on. And the only problem is, is when you're going in the snow, it would get trapped between the shoe and the rubber and would soak the shoe all the way through. And so there was a, um, one instance for sure, my, my learning curve. Yeah, so you just like this. My learning curve was the first time we had to put on the crampons and we had weather from above and we were going through snow you know, you're up high, it was cold, so I, it, it was bad. I was sweating from the inside, I was wet from the outside, my feet got soaked, the temperature dropped, weather came in. You don't want wet feet, it's, it's bad, bad news. So, I should have prepared for that, definitely. So for water resistance, I, pfft, junk, rubbish. Other than that, every other aspect you could grade these shoes in, uh, solid 10, at least an eight and a half or above on everything. So overall for the price, uh, reliability, durability, um, yeah, uh, they're definitely worth the price. I think it's a great shoe. Um, just not when they get wet. <laughs>